Uh, okay, welcome to Mesh Mixer Modeling Tutorial Part 3. Um, in the end of the last tutorial, I just briefly showed you how to use the selection tool. So to get into the selection tool, you use the select button up here, or you can just hit the S key, um, and that got you into this selection brush mode. Um, and then you can scribble on the surface to select some area. I'll just mention that another thing can happen in the selection tool if you if you start a line or start on the outside of the mesh um, rather than on top of it you'll make a kind of cutting stroke and that'll select everything inside of the cutting stroke but I'm going to stick to the brush here um, so let's select I don't know something like this I'm just going to show you some other tools so uh, one tool you can run if you go to the edits menu you can run the extrude tool and what that does is kind of push and pulls out of the surface so you can see using the offset up here you can also roll your mouse wheel um, or do two finger sliding on a Mac um, you can push that in and out. Uh, one downside is it has this kind of rough edge so I'm going to cancel here, hit escape or cancel um, and I'm just going to run this other tool first uh, modify selection and the modify selection menu has all sorts of tools for modif changing like inverting the selection growing it and shrinking it. But I'm going to run the smooth boundary tool which you can get to also by just pressing B and when you run smooth boundary um, just hit, just run it and click accept and you pretty much always just keep the default um, you can see now it's made my selection have a nice clean edge uh, so now if I go to an extrusion it looks like it added a rough edge but if you look from the side you see it's got a nice clean edge on it uh, okay so I'm just going to accept that um, and when I accept so a lot of the tools keep a selection afterwards I can now do something with this face but I can just cancel out of that selection too so now I've got I kind of made a, a, a sort of part sticking out there um, now I'm going to show you something else you can do once you have that um, a way to kind of make smoother forms so I'm going to go back in the selection brush and I'm just going to scribble around select you don't have to be very precise with this you just need to select a little bit around the outside um, and you have to select all of the inside um, now I'm going to run uh, a tool, I'm going to go edits oh no sorry, I'm going to go to deformations I'm going to run the smooth tool and you can see when I run the smooth tool uh, the surface gets a little bit smoother like it did with the smoothing brush so if I click, make sure you click in the viewport somewhere then you can use the left and right arrow keys to change how smooth that is, you can smooth it all actually until it completely disappears um, one one thing about smoothing, uh, one downside is if you start with something, you can see there's kind of a an edge here, and that's because if it cancel the smoothing, it's because of this sharp edge in this uh, extrusion surface. So one thing we can do, um, I'm going to turn on the wireframe by pressing W, is we can run a remesh filter. So you go to edits, remesh, you just run it and accept the defaults again. So you can see it got kind of rougher on the edges, but it doesn't matter because now we're going to run the smoothing again and it's going to have gotten rid of that crease um, so there we go, now we can tweak it a little bit, make it smooth, hit A to accept and clear the selection and now we've got a smoother feature that kind of looks the same uh, as that sharp feature, it's kind of a rounded off version so this is kind of a nice way to make sort of forms on the surface, I'll just maybe do something like this you know, so I run the smooth boundary tool, hit B, and that's going to create this nice blue edge in the surface. Now I can run an extrusion, um, and I'll show you there's a few options for extrusion. For instance, you can extrude in the normal direction, and that'll make it kind of uniform thickness around the surface. Um, so let's accept that. Um, and cancel out of this and now I've got this sort of part wrapping around the surface and then the same thing I can go back in my smooth brush and just paint around that guy um, roughly might want to be a bit more precise here because the smoothing will affect the thing underneath um, you go edits remesh accept that and then deformation smooth uh, and maybe I will make it a little bit less smooth and there we go so now I've created sort of this thing and so you can see just by doing extrusions and smoothing you can create kind of interesting layers of stuff uh, okay that's it for this tutorial